Fighting back in Ballantyne, we start with that violent crime spree from mm -hmm. earlier today. Police say two teenagers targeted at least three people and tried to rob them, but all of the victims fought back. And in the last case, a neighbor stepped in and shot one of those suspects. Uh, we've mapped out all the different crimes that happened very early this morning. Our veteran crime reporter Mark Becker is live in Ballantyne tonight. And Mark, what of course stands out here is these people refusing to be victims. And they did not want to be victims and they let the suspects know it and it all ended here about 630 this morning in that driveway Scott where a woman was going to be robbed of her car before her husband and neighbors intervened and that ended the violent crime spree that police say had started two hours earlier several miles away from here sitting outside in my car. His name is Joe, and at 4.35 this morning, he confronted two teenagers in a white Toyota Camry who were breaking into his wife's car on Otter Creek Drive. They drove off, but moments later came back firing. You were in the car when that got hit? Yeah, they, he was aiming for, towards me. You could have been killed. Yes, I could have. 15 minutes later, at 4.50, police say two suspects in that same white Camry robbed a man in his driveway on Clems Branch Drive. That time, he fired the shots and they drove off. Then six minutes later, at 4.56, officers spotted that same white Camry, which they learned was stolen, and followed it to Bevington Place, where it crashed into a tree. The driver, a teenager, was injured and will be arrested. But that second suspect was missing, and he wasn't gone for long. An hour and a half later, at 6.30, police say he showed up here on Myers Mill, where he tried to steal a woman's car. When we woke up this morning, we heard Kelly screaming, um, help, help, help. Burton Fulton is an Army veteran who lives across the street. He grabbed his shotgun and went to help. Brian, the homeowner, um, tackled the guy first. Mark showed up and uh, got a hold of one of his arms, pinned behind his back, um, so had his right arm free. Basically, Mark's, you know, just laid on top of the guy. During the scuffle, Fulton says one of the neighbors shot that teen suspect in the leg when he appeared to be reaching for his gun. He was reaching for it and he'd already confirmed that he had a weapon, so you know, we were just trying to make sure nobody else got shot. Now police say that 17-year-old who was shot here and the 18-year-old or 19-year-old, they haven't said if he was 18 or 19, who was involved in that crash, are both expected to recover. They haven't said what charges they'll face yet, Scott, but you can be sure there will be plenty of them. Scott. A absolutely, and, and a lot of fighting back by people who were uh, possibly going to be victims. Thank you, Mark. Uh, we don't know immediately the name of the 17-year-old suspect because under the state's new Raise the Age law, anyone under 18 is initially charged as a juvenile. But as Mark said, because these cases involve a lot of serious felonies, this could likely move to an adult court later on.